Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to the Wednesday message, week number two. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I haven't slept for days. Right, to catch up with all the TAT, all the messages. Remember, this year I am one of your working uplines, so I'm going to push you on WhatsApp, on every message, on everything. Everyone is calling me right now. Okay, week two. All right, guys, I just finished talking to Datu Sri Vijay today, JR Kuna. In a few days, all most of your uplines are flying into Malaysia for the Inner Circle Elite session with Japa and Datu Sri Vijay, our highest platform of gathering to kick off the year to define your legacy to plan what's going to happen to hear the wisdom direction and vision of dato sri vijay ishwaran himself guys so it's going to be crazy my life has started to be crazy from today non-stop people arriving i think jr flies in tomorrow arun adli flies in uh, on thursday and we got non-stop then i go to dubai then isb it's crazy 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 all right, guys, and today, let's go back to the basics. So if you're a brand new person, all right, and or you have been around for a long time, fundamentally, I repeat this message over and over again. And I plan to do this very seriously on this Wednesday message. So shut up, listen, and do. Saying it with love. Empty your cup. All right. Now, the most fundamental part of our journey is for us to be able to have a list of names, all right? A list of names with all the prospects. Now, let me explain why this is important. Because everyone you see today in the network, whether you see me, all right, uh, anyone was somebody's prospect. I was Dato Sri Vijay's prospect, all right? He brought me into this family. Unbelievable. He's my direct referral, all right? I'm one of the few people who can say that, all right? And guys, I want you to think about it. Now, prospects are all waiting. There are prospects all around the world. Basically, any freaking human being who's 18 years and above, all right, 18 years and above is a prospect. That means they can legally sign up and buy a product from QNET, whether to be a customer, whether to be a future max out king or queen. So every journey of everyone you respect today, when you look on VCon stage and you see the V partners, the AVPs, the big boys, the big girls, the kings and queens, they were all at one point somebody's prospect. So I have a tremendous amount of respect for the source, where it all started, the source code as they say. And that's your list of names. All right, now there is a big dilemma about this. Oh, I run out of names. I have no one to talk to. I'm frustrated. That is utter, total bull sugar, guys. If I went to Dato Sri Vijay with this, he will smack me over my head and say, wake up, smell the coffee. There is a never, never ending supply of prospects on this planet. The world will never run out of prospects. It is biologically historically proven that the world will constantly be replenished. So if there's 10 million babies born today, in 18 years, there's going to be 10 million people who are going to achieve 18 years old, give or take. So you can never run out of prospects. It's just that you have a limitation, a paradigm shift weakness, that you lose the ability to view everyone as a prospect. If you watch the eight basic building blocks, I used to attend every party, every wedding, and my radar would come out, ten and all right? And my radar would go like, tit, 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 tit. and I see somebody who I have not shown the plan to, who doesn't know anything about our amazing QNET business, the radar goes, tit, 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 and I go, all right? So let's go back to the basics today. Let's take out a piece of paper. Now, for the beginners, all right, you should have a very big name list, minimum 150, 
maximum, I don't know, 3,000, I guess. And your name list must always be divided to hot, warm, and cold. Now, I never talk enough about this. Now, why did I tell you guys to divide the list to hot, warm, and cold? Because I believe that every one of these categories needs to be approached differently. All right? The hot list are the easiest to approach. Why? You have a relationship. You have trespass. They know you. All right? You don't have to pick up and give the whole prospecting speech. You just say, bro, let's catch up for coffee. I got something important to talk to you about. And then you meet that person and you do the presentation. Now, the downside of the hot list is they also know your weaknesses. They know you tried 10 businesses. They know you have never been serious about your life. So it requires a little bit of convincing power to convince them. Now, Sati and Kuna signed up immediately in my hot list, all right? But they didn't take the business seriously immediately, all right? Kuna had to wait to see my checks before he became one of the most powerful networkers we had in our organization. So everyone has their time, but approaching the hot list, do immediately. Right? You need basic knowledge, how to do the presentation, bring your upline for support, but go in and go in with the right attitude, go in with the right energy, go in with the right informa information. It's almost, I tell my hot list, I tell them, guys, I have a great feeling about this business. I know I'm going to make it big. I don't want to make it big alone. So trust me, join me. Let's do this together. I'm there every step of the way. And most of them will sign up. Okay, I signed up. 22 people from my hot list in the first 48 hours. 48 hours. Boom, 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 boom. 22 people. Yes, 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 yes. Strong trespass, relationship, brotherhood, close, sisterhood, close. All right? And then you have, but don't abandon them after you sign up. Your hot list, all right? Most of the V ambassadors today are my hot list. The hot list has the greatest potential. The mistake you make, you think the hot list is only there for the BV. No. Every prospect, whether it's your mother or a complete stranger in the bus stop, has the potential to become a great networker in your organization. So don't treat them differently. All right? Bring them into the system. Force your mother to watch the eight basic building blocks. All right? Ask her to come for training. Ask her to come for power of association. She may get the click and be your next max out queen. Are you guys with me? So don't use your hot zone just to get the BB. Alright? Because then they're going to think you use them. Alright? Just for you to make money. You don't want that reputation. Everyone in my hot zone, I treated them as potential max out kings and queens. Some of them made it, some of them not. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. As Dato Sri BJ says. Then you got your warm list. Your warm list, you need to be more equipped to handle objections. That's the key. Every presentation, it's not how strong your presentation is, it's how well you handle the automatic 10 most common objections on the planet. All right? And now there's Google search and all that stuff. So manage, all right, how you learn to manage and handle objections. Your warm list. And then your cold list, you go in. No fear. All right? Because they're cold. The sign up is a complete bonus. They say, no, I don't care. I love it. But that name list has to be constantly replenished every month by 10%. So you got 150 names. Every month, you have to add 15 names. Now, please don't give me the bull sugar. How do I add names, chief? I don't know anyone. Are you living under a rock? Are you living in a cave? Uh, alone on an island? Right? I mean... 20 new people a day just by walking through a mall or hotel lobby, right? I reconnect thanks to social media. You can reconnect to your kindergarten classmate who you have not seen for 40 years. So don't have this bloody excuse that you don't know people. You don't know new people. You can't find new prospects because you are lazy. You are driven by fear of talking to a stranger. So get over it. Get over that nonsense fear. I can talk to a complete stranger because I know I'm helping him or her as much as he is helping me or uh, in any way. Are you guys with me? All right. Now, all of this comes down to replenishing your list. So the mistake people make, they don't replenish the list. You always have to replenish the list because now there is two beliefs. One belief is after I finish my list, I should focus only on 
helping my leaders become better networkers and not do any networking by myself. There's another belief that I should never, never stop being a networker because anyone could be the potential next Arun Adli Sati, David, you know, and I am leaning towards never stop being a networker. All right. I still do presentation today. Dato Sri Vijay still does presentation today. So don't stop. So if you want to start 2023, if you want to get your mojo back, you want to get your passion back, you want to become a networker, you want to hit your TAT and your financial goal this year, let's start as a beginner. I mentioned this. Let's become a beginner again. Now, what does it mean becoming a beginner? Becoming a networker. So I challenge you. The new guys, don't let me hunt you down, all right, and kick you. You should be damn busy with your name list because you are new. You haven't even started your hot zone. You haven't finished your hot zone. So get cracking. For the medium and veteran networkers, do it. Start a new country. Challenge yourself. Start a new network. Place it in your triple payout, double payout. Are you saying you are satisfied and you don't want to earn enough money? Are you kidding me? Have you lost your hunger? Are you no longer angry? All right? Are you no longer willing to be crazy to talk to a complete stranger and sign them up? And if you are a successful networker, signing up people is like that, guys. I can sign up anyone, anytime, just like that. Are you guys with me? Now, all of this comes down to the list. Replenish the list. All right? Take your list, blow off the dust, all right? And look through it again. I just connected with my classmates from school, secondary school, and I can't wait to tell them about our amazing business. I told you guys one day, if you found the cure for cancer, are you going to keep quiet or scream on top of your lungs to the world about the cure for cancer? Are you going to share it with your neighbor, complete stranger, go and stand outside every hospital and say, I found the cure, I found the cure, I found the cure. Listen to me. Now you have found the cure to financial cancer. You have found the cure to hopelessness. You have found the cure to zombies walking around with no dreams. Then why are you keeping it to yourself? Climb the highest mountain, shout to the world. Now, this comes back to one culture that you must re-energize, re-instill in your organization immediately, right now, today. All right? Remind, repeat, nag your whole organization about the culture of presentation, presentation, presentation. So, if you are working upline, gather your people after watching the Wednesday message, bring everyone together. All right, and get them back into presentation mode. Anyone and everyone, if you cannot do three to four presentation a week, you should find the tallest building in your city and play the song, I believe I can fly. Because that is a reflection of laziness, comfort zone, fear, stupidity, moronism. All right, if I can do four to five presentations a month, just like that, casually, why can't you do three or four a week? Don't you want a new sign up? Don't you want a new organization? Don't you want to keep your, sh your knife sharp as a networker? Because you cannot train people if you don't know what they are going through. You cannot train people if you are no longer a networker. Alright? And you are too young and not successful enough to retire and be iconic, guys. So wake up, smell the coffee, go back to the name list, hot, warm, cold, and go back to the extreme fanatical culture of presentation, 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 presentation. Presentation, 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 baby. Because that's the only answer. Your TAT is directly linked to the number of presentations. Right? There's no escaping it. If there's one culture, all right, that you have to instill fanatically, non-negotiable. Right? Because culture is strategy for breakfast. No matter how good your training is, no matter how great your system is, no matter how great uplines you have, no matter how great you think you are, all of that is irrelevant and useless if you have not instilled the number one culture in your organization. That is presentation, presentation, presentation. Are you with me?